Welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day video. Uh, if you haven't seen any of these before, uh, I will just show you for the entire week from Sunday through Friday, everything I ate. Um, and today I'm just gonna have some sandwiches because it is Sunday, uh, my cheat day, because uh, I am diabetic, so I don't usually eat carbs for lunch. But on Sunday, I make an exception. So I have my sandwich. I'm just gonna do a ham and cheese sandwich. So yeah, I'll show everything I eat. I won't show what I drink because that's all um, uh, either sugar-free, like a tea without sugar or soda or things like that. But if I do have anything with sugar, I will show you. And uh, I won't show all my fruit because I just have a bunch of apples still in the fridge. I have some tangerines, which you might see behind me. So I'm not gonna show you that every single time, but if I have uh, any other kind of snack, I will show you. So, um, yeah, let's just uh, get started. So like I said, lunch on Sunday is just some ham and cheese sandwiches on some uh, whole wheat bread. And while I edit my Sunday prep day video, I'm gonna have a bar of chocolate. All right, let's make some dinner. So I'm gonna boil some potatoes. So I just have some water with some salt and potatoes in here. And then I'm going to get another pan on the heat, to which I'm going to add a little bit of water. And I'll add my sauerkraut. And I'll just cook that until that's done. And while that is cooking, I am going to season up some pork. So I have some pork chops here. I'm going to salt them. And I'll do some paprika, a little bit of cayenne, and some garlic powder. Give the sauerkraut a stir. You just need to make sure that there's uh, some water left in the pan still so it doesn't stick and burn. In the meantime, I'll just heat up a pan, nice frying pan, add some oil, let that heat up. And now that that frying pan is nice and hot, I'm gonna add my pork. Get some nice color on both sides. And when the pork is done, I'm just gonna set it aside while I wait for the rest to be done. Okay, the potatoes are done, so I just drain them. Now I'm gonna add them to the sauerkraut. And now we turn it into a stompot, because a stompot means uh, mashed. That's what st uh, stomp means, so. And here we have circle stompolt with some uh, pork chops. It is Monday, I'm just preparing my lunch for today. I'm heading to work in a few minutes. And it's just the butternut squash uh, soup, soup that I made uh, yesterday. So if you wanna see how I made that, check out the last Sunday prep day video. Let's go make some dinner for Meatless Monday. I'm gonna get a pan on the heat and add a little bit of oil. I'm gonna make some uh, vegan chili with beans. I was thinking about using some uh, beans that already came in like a tomato based sauce, but I didn't have the in the pantry anymore. I forgot I used that not that long ago. So I'm just gonna use some uh, regular already cooked beans and I'm gonna use some uh, chipotle sauce so but yeah we'll start by uh, just getting some veggies in so i have some onion i use red but you can use any onion that you like Got a little bit of garlic some fresh chilies and some peppers and to that I'm just going to add a pinch of salt just to help that cook down and now that that has started to soften a bit I'm just going to add some cherry tomatoes and just cook those down a bit as well while that is sauteing I'm just going to start on the rice I'm using some brown rice I'm just going to cook it in the microwave so I'll do one cup of rice two cups of water And I'll put on a vented lid and I'll just microwave this uh, 10 minutes at full power and then 15 minutes at half power. And I'll just add some of my chipotle sauce and I'll 
add the beans. These are just the uh, mixed beans, so kidney beans, pinto beans. Uh, I forgot what else, but I think there's like three or four different kinds. So you can make them from dried or something, but I just had this, so it's nice and convenient. So I'm just going to let this uh, simmer until my rice is ready. The rice is done, so I'm just going to add in some cilantro. And if you're wondering where all these ingredients come from, every Sunday I do a Sunday prep day. So if you haven't seen that video, yeah, you should check it out and then uh, you can see what I prepped. So I'm just going to add some lime. I'll give that a little mix. And then it's time to plate up. And there we go, some vegan chili with some lime cilantro rice. For lunch on Tuesday, I just have some coleslaw that I made uh, on Sunday. And I grilled some chicken breasts with some um, salt, pepper, and paprika. Okay, for lunch on Tuesday, I'm just going to do some pork belly tacos. So I just warmed up some uh, taco shells. So now I'm just going to uh, put some of my pork belly in and I will air fry that for let's do 15 minutes so if you haven't seen my Sunday prep day video I prepared a big thing of pork belly and also some coleslaw that I'm gonna use so this can just go back in the fridge for next time and uh, yeah when that is done air frying I'm just gonna cut it into smaller pieces and put that on my taco with my coleslaw and some uh, reduced sugar barbecue sauce. And there we go, pork belly tacos with coleslaw and uh, reduced sugar barbecue sauce. All right, let's make some lunch on Wednesday. I'm gonna make a, a stir fry with chicken and I'm gonna use some broccoli stems. So I'm just preheating some oil in a pan and I'll add some chicken thighs that I cut up. And I'll add a little bit of salt and some pepper. I have some ground coriander, some garlic powder, and some ground ginger. So I'm just going to saute this for a bit. Now that that is starting to get some color, I'm going to add some carrots, some chilies, some peppers, some onion, and some garlic. And then I'll just saute that. And then when that has softened a bit, I'll add my broccoli stems that I cut nice and fine. Give that a stir. And I'll just add a little splash of water. And put a lid on to just help uh, cook those broccoli stems through. So uh, I'm just going to let that cook for a few minutes and then I'll plate up. And there we go, broccoli stem and chicken stir fry for lunch. All right, let's get some dinner going. I'm going to make some curry with some chicken. So for that, I'm going to uh, heat a pan with a little bit of oil. And to that, I'm going to add a little bit of fenugreek. And some mustard seeds. And I'll just bloom those in the oil for a little bit. Now that the spices have bloomed a bit, I'm going to add my curry paste. I made those, uh, not the previous Sunday prep day, but the one before that. So it's just some uh, fresh turmeric, uh, fresh ginger, garlic, or not, not onion, shallots, uh, chilies, some uh, cilantro stems, things like that. I'm actually going to turn the heat down a bit because I don't want the, the fenugreek or the mustard seeds to burn. But I'll just uh, saute the curry paste for a bit. And now that that has softened, I'm adding a little bit of carrots. I'm just going to use up some onions, even though there's already shallots in the curry paste. A little extra won't hurt and I need to use that up. And here I have some leeks. Again, just using up what I have. Curries are perfect for that. So I'll just let those soften for a bit. 
And I'll actually add a bit of salt to help that uh, soften down. And now that everything has softened, I'll add a can of uh, coconut milk. I'm going to add my chicken thighs that I cut into smaller pieces. And here I have some dried curry leaves. I'm just gonna throw a couple in. Okay, lid on. I'm gonna turn it to a low heat over here. And I'm just gonna let that simmer for a while. The chicken thighs can basically take however long you want because they're not gonna get dry. So I'm just gonna let that simmer for like probably an hour or so. And then uh, I'll check back in with you. All right, this has been simmering for about an hour. So I'm just gonna turn the heat off and I will throw in some peas. So these are just frozen. And I have some frozen spinach that I'll throw in. I'll just stir that in and the residual heat will just uh, cook that through. I'll just put the lid on, let that sit. And I'll just make some uh, some more rice. I already showed you how to do that uh, the other day. So I'll see you back when I plate everything up. And there we go. A chicken curry with spinach and peas and some uh, brown rice. I'm going to watch a movie tonight. I'm going to watch Hocus Pocus like I do every year around uh, Halloween. So instead of uh, regular chips, I'm just having some uh, pork rinds to keep it low carb. For lunch on Thursday, I'm just having a bit more coleslaw and some pork belly that I put on some skewers. Alright, let's make some dinner. I'm gonna make some ramen. So for that, I am heating up some of the stock I made Sunday, and I just added some miso paste to that. If you haven't seen Sunday's video, uh, I made that with the braising liquid from my uh, pork belly. So uh, it has uh, obviously pork flavor in it, but also um, a lot of mushrooms. What else did I have? Celery, carrot onion, all that kind of stuff. So that is just heating through. That will make a nice little sauce or stock. And then here I'm just going to first boil an egg. I'm going to do a, a half-boiled egg, so I'm going to cook that for six minutes. So I'm just going to boil that for a, a couple of minutes and then I'll uh, cool that off in some water and I'll use the, that boiling water then for my mushrooms and for my um, green beans. And yeah, then I'm uh, also, then I'll add some noodles, and that's really it. So uh, I'll see you when it's time to plate up. And there we go. I think I forgot to say that I was also uh, air frying some um, pork belly. But here we have some ramen with some homemade stock with a half-boiled egg, green beans, mushrooms, and pork belly. Okay, for lunch on Fish Friday, I'm going to have some low-carb crackers with tuna salad. So I'm just going to make the tuna salad. So I just drain this can of tuna. And then here I have some jalapeno slices that I cut up just for some spice and a little bit of acidity. And I'll add a bit of mayo. Give that a quick mix. And let's plate up. And there we go, low carb crackers with uh, tuna salad. So these are just um, store-bought crackers that are uh, high in fiber, lower in carb. I actually forgot to take fish out of the freezer and since I used up all my veg that I prepared, I thought, you know, I'll just get some takeout. So I got some uh, chipotle barbecue ribs with uh, some bread and some uh, compound butter. So. That's everything I ate this week. Uh, if you like this, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching. Until next time, bye for now.